yeah. Oh my god. On social media today, it seems like everybody is a model. So we're taking four amateur models and putting them to the ultimate photo shoot challenge. Our contestants have no idea what they're modeling or that they'll be judged by the performance. All they know is that it's a competition. Our contestants will be modeling a giant floppy hat. Is it functional? Absolutely not. But is it fashion? Yes. It was one of the most iconic summer accessories of 2018. So if celebrities and top models can rock this hat, why can't they? We won't be the only ones judging though. The contestants will also be judged by the professional photographer on set, John. Look at this colorful cast of people. This is like a sitcom. Yeah. This is. <laughs> the winner of this challenge will receive the ultimate influencer prize, a post on BuzzFeed's Instagram page to millions of followers. So, let the competition begin. My name's Autumn, and definitely not an Instagram model in any capacity. <laughs> My name is Nadia. I would not consider myself an Instagram model. Absolutely not. <laughs> My name is David, friends call me Kofi. I would definitely consider myself an Instagram model of sorts. I'd have to say I probably set a couple trends in my day. My name's Kaylin. I do not think I'm an Instagram model, but I do like modeling and posing and like doing fun photo shoots with my friends. We were told to go for kind of a festival look. I have been Googling pictures of Rihanna the entire day. I'm hoping that I can find something amazing that captures my essence. So now we have to put our look together and I'm really nervous because I brought like a million different things and I don't know what to choose. Wow. Usually very strict with competition, but you know, we've kind of created a little alliance. So if she somehow wins, she has to share the prize with me. Yeah, yeah. We'll so split, we'll split. I'll we'll help her pick out this outfit real quick. Okay. Right back. These are a couple of the outfits I've chosen, and I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to wear yet. We'll find out. My hair obviously is really big, and I think that's like naturally my biggest accessory. I'm interested to see what this mystery accessory is because of that. Hopefully it's not a hat, because that's just not fair. All right, we're getting ready to put together my makeup. Makeup look. Do you like glowy skin? I love glowy okay. skin, yes. Some highlight, mm, <laughs> it up. <laughs> this is really high fashion. Sasha, you're amazing. Thank you. Oh my god. Beauty oh, okay. okay. by Sasha. Okay. I went with the colors of the flame because I'm on fire. I wanted to bring this as well because I think it makes me look like I just robbed somebody and I'm running off. I decided to put together this trench coat piece with the matching top and bottom, through the velvet for a little bit slightly different texture, white shoes to kind of offset it, and the Fendi scarf to accessorize. I got this shirt on a whim. I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna wear it and this seemed like the perfect event to wear this. I put together this outfit with a bright color palette. Like a 90s five-year-old kid meets Spice Girl. I'm a little bit nervous about this thing that I've been told is going to happen, this reveal. I don't really know what's going on, so we'll see. But, you know, hey, listen, play it cool. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Y'all play too much. Oh my god, did I not say it was gonna be a hat? I would like to think that I could model with anything, but I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot more difficult than I planned. This is the perfect moment. I'm ready. I've worked with Kaylin in the past. She's very spunky and I feel like she is someone who knows how to be in front of a camera and to work it. With my hair, it's hard to wear hats in general because it was like so large. Like nobody can like traditionally wear that just like a normal hat. Like you have to like play around with it. I'm interested to see David with this hat, which isn't the most masculine of things and David reads very masculine. Right. The modeling at first I anticipated would be a lot more difficult once I saw the hat itself, but um, pretty soon it kind of, you know, just becomes one with you. The thing with Nadia, they have a very androgynous vibe. Very, and they very. bring a non-binary energy. Like I've seen Nadia do drag king stuff, and I'm like, I'm yeah. curious to see if that will come into play For in the sure. photos. The hat was incredibly floppy. I picked out some of my gymnastics moves. That's high fashion, right? <laughs> I think Autumn will probably be the wild card of the bunch. She's okay. definitely the most different when it comes to like fashion and just personality okay. wise. It was really fun and really cool, even though the particular thing that I was given did not match with my outfit at all. Good news is there's some good lighting in here. We've got some people who know some angles. I'll be okay. I am sweating. That was hard work, <laughs> but it was really fun. I was like a lot more scared, especially like seeing the prop. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna make this work, but I think I did it. There is some stiff competition, I'll be honest, but um, I'm just not sure if they're gonna be able to find that space and that bond with the hat like I did. To be serious with something so goofy, I think that's a really fun contrast. That's kind of like me as a person. I'm really excited to see the pictures. There's one more part of this challenge. 
You will be judged. By who? Professional judges? Okay. What? <laughs> oh. I thought we were done. What are you guys doing to me? Oh, so much stress for one day. So the first model I shot was Nadia. Wow. And um, she killed it. She definitely nailed like the high fashion editorial style with yeah. her posing. I do wish she was pointing both of her toes. We only gave them like 10 minutes to do a bunch oh, wow. of stuff. Oh, okay. And we got three shots from each one. Oh shoot, okay. She didn't really have a ton of time and I don't think we can really judge them on that. That's yeah. more of my fault, but. You know, no. we, you know, like we, we nailed it. She can point her toe. But I mean, <laughs> you know, we we tried. We tried to get it as perfect as we could. All right, on to autumn. Oh wow. Okay. The color stands out immediately. Yeah. Wearing the blue and having the blue mm. eyeliner really helps. It does. My only thing is, you could take this hat off of her and it wouldn't matter. This hat doesn't really go with her outfit. No. At all. It screwed her the most. I gotta like get the hat. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wow. Gagging. What a cool way to make a feminine object match your masculine energy. This is also wow. just what you called f***ing going for it. Yeah. yeah. The color This is it. Yeah. Ooh, I love the close-ups too. He's serving. He is the most lucky in terms of it going with the hat. It really worked into that outfit. Oh. Ooh. I love the passion. Could you just see this photo with wearing nothing but like a bandeau? Yes. Or like almost topless. Body, body, body. I wish someone would have done that. Yeah. It is crazy though how like the same outfit if you go back and forth, really just depending on what they did with the hat, yeah. it made it so much better. Yeah. Once she wrapped it around herself, it was a completely different vibe. Wow. Great all around. Everyone did so good. All right, so we're going to talk about each person's best photo, um, which you all, first of all, did amazing. Oh. So good, so good. First photo is Nadia's. Here oh my is. God. So what? good. I don't know if I did all right. <laughs> what we really liked about this photo is how you worked with your body. The composition of it was really great. The one area we did have a little bit of a critique was that your arm got a little bit lost on the left side. Yeah. But overall, a stunning image. Yeah. It was really cool. A little bit more, it would have been perfect. Yeah. Also loved the masculine and feminine energy and the way you styled it. The suit pants mixed with these pink pump. Ugh, it was so, it was so cute. great. So great. Thank loved you. It. It was fun. <laughs> All right, Kaylin. Oh God, here we go. This one. Shut the f up. Wow. It's so good. So great. So good. Thank we you. loved the negative space over here. Oh, you fucking worked this. For sure. Also love the intensity in your eyes. You had like the perfect face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just, yeah, yeah <sighs> it's great. Glad that's over. <laughs> the next was Autumn. And we loved this pose. Yes. It was such a power stance. Like the simple hip hop created a nice line that was interesting in telling a story. Also love this little bag. Where did you get this? Because I want one. I got it from Goodwill for $4. Shut up. It's <laughs> so oh, cute. God. I love this bag. It was good how you were like brave enough to like ditch the outfit you had. Like yeah. get rid of the blue jacket because you knew it didn't fit with the whole hat vibe. Yeah. And it actually ended up helping you in the end because if you would have had it, it might have been too much. Yeah, yeah, this looks really good. I love the pose. David, when we got to your photos, we loved it. We wow. love that you brought so in a chair fun. and like went for it. Yeah. Yes. The fact that like everyone else wore color and you brought color in with a prop and matched it to the yeah. outfit. Yes. It's like you kind of did what that. you were supposed to do with the outfit, but with a prop instead. Oh my yeah. god. I wasn't too sure about it. Oh, it amazing. looks so fucking good. We couldn't really pick which one we liked the best. Honestly. Because oh then we saw this. God. I love that one. And then we good. saw this. And we were wow. like, this literally looks like. I want like, this in my room. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Wow. This man is art. <laughs> wow. Yo, this what is a, art. It's a very. We're done. We kind of went towards the side for oh, yeah, I tried yeah. to cheat but my face. He was like, just try not to. Really and I was like, I don't know. I was really wondering what that was going to look like. Choosing winner was very, very difficult. You all did a great job. Yeah. yeah thank you. And especially with not knowing anything and working with something that's so different. Y'all rocked it. When we were going through the photos, it was just kind of like hard to find what we were really like, like this is the, the yeah. shot. One person clearly had the full spread. So that's really what we used to judge it instead of like the best photo. The winner is... David! <laughs> I did yeah. not expect to win by any means. That's this was, why. I was like, so much fun. You and thank you to our amazing photographer. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
for sure. Yes. And made me more confident.